Blue Transformers, and I six here to do a video review. This time, Transformers Prime Knockout. So here you go. So this is Deluxe Class Robots in Disguise, whatever you want to call it, a uh, knockout. So as you can see, his box, very cool, standard box. Nice picture of um, Knockout on the side. I love how they're doing that. Makes it a lot easier to search through it uh, than like the Dark of the Moon characters. Get there, get a nice little bio, very good. Um, obviously with this, he does have this whole thing that on the end, which really isn't, uh, he doesn't have that in the actual toy, the little end piece to the staff. Um, I, I don't have the other end of the staff. Uh, I just went through a major move. I still have barely unpacked very many toys, really just only stuff to review. And um, so that's why I don't have the other part, sorry. I know that I'll find it eventually, but I really just wanted to do the review now. So, very sorry that uh, I don't have the other side. But anyway, let's talk about the car. So the car's very cool. It looks very nice, very slick. It's got a good look to it. I like the front grille a lot. And yeah, um, of course it's small. Everybody's been talking about how it's small. It's about the size of a large Scout. Um, but Transformers have gotten smaller, so I don't I don't really mind. Um, I don't think anybody's really going to keep him in this mode. Everybody just transforms into robots, so it doesn't matter much. He rolls fairly nicely, and uh, yeah. The paint's pretty okay. I mean, it's got kind of this, this nice red that is pretty much how he is. And then he's got this like darker red all over it, almost like a purple. I really just don't like that too much. I kind of like how it fades into uh, silver over here. I just, I don't know why they did that. Uh, I don't think it's quite show accurate, but it's still pretty cool, and uh, I, I'm good with it. Yeah, uh, the weapon can fit in these mech tech ports, just like right here and right here. There's just two of them. You can see through the window, but it just looks like mechanics. You really can't see any, like, head in the window, you know, that kind of sucks. From the bottom here, it, it just kind of looks like mechanics. That's what's kind of neat. It doesn't really reveal that it's a robot. Uh, so, yeah, so that's kind of neat. So, anyway, let's start transformation. What you're going to want to do is pop these back legs off like this, split them, then take the bottom and rotate it bottom and rotate it, then the, the feet are pegged in right there, you just pop them out and rotate them. Pop in, rotate, and then with the, uh, I already kind of did it when I took off the legs, but you're going to want to split the windshield like this. There you go. And then you're just going to want to move them up and kind of do a rotating kind of thing here. Just rotate it. So the wheel uh, goes on the bottom and the arm comes up. So yeah. You just rotate it just like that, fairly easy. And then what you're going to want to do to transform the arm, because it's going to be like this, this is how it's going to be, you're just going to move this like this, so take this out, and then rotate the whole assembly, and then put the, and then, oops, is the arm pads, they do pop off every now and then. So very sorry. Uh, so then what you're going to want to do is just move the hand out, plug the peg just back in and then just close this whole assembly down. And there you have his arm. It, the arm's kind of tricky. It takes a while to remember all the steps, but uh, once you do it, you can remember them pretty easy. So yeah. So now same thing on the side here. Move it out. Rotate the assembly. Move the hand out. Rotate this back in and then rotate the whole thing down. Just like that. So there you go. Uh, these windshields don't fold down. There's nothing you can do about them. I don't really mind them too much. You can kind of uh, leave it like this. So yeah. And then what you're going to want to do is just take this and just move it all the way up. Just like that. And then just rotate it all down. And then move this up. And mine, I don't know why. Mine just doesn't seem to have enough clearance. I don't know what it is. But just, it doesn't really just like pop out by itself. Mine, you have to actually pull it out. So yeah, then just push this back in. And uh, as far as I have heard, the instructions just really stop there. And uh, don't go on to what you really should do after this. Oh, wow, there we go. Just trying to get them all strained up. So the instructions tell you to stop there. Obviously, you really shouldn't. Uh, there is a lot more that you can do to make them look a lot better. So first off, you just take these, uh, they're, they're kind of like right here. You take these and there's a little notch and you can just plug them in 
um, on the side of the uh, of the thing, just like that, so that they kind of stick in just like that. Um, they don't stay in real well when you start moving his arms and stuff. They do pop out, but as as far as like just when you're messing with him, just leave them unpopped, and then when you go to put them back on a shelf, then just pop them back in. They look great, and then. These side things are out just like this. Just rotate them back, and there's a little. There's, it, there's actually clips there, which is why it's weird that the um, instructions stop because it's not like things that you're doing that you're not supposed to to make it look better. It's things that actually are there to make look, make it look better. You just pop it in right there. You pop it in right there, and there you go. There's um, knockout. I keep wanting to call him Roadbuster. I, I can't even remember who Roadbuster is. I know. Oh yeah, it's the record. But anyway, there is knockout in his robot mode. So very cool. I think that it looks pretty nice. Um, he is certainly a small figure. I, I do have a couple, uh, three robots to compare him with. He is pretty small. Uh, right here, his knees are totally bent. I kind of like him with the bent knee thing, um, but if you want to just straighten him out, he does get a lot taller. So there you go. Overall, he's a very vain character. One of the transform or one of the uh, Decepticons who actually transforms into a car. Very few of them. Um, you know, I, I kind of like the character. He's like the medic. Uh, he doesn't do too much whenever he fights. He always loses, it seems like. So it's really hard to actually, like, really like him. But uh, he's okay. Um, he's the one that kind of uh, uh, sewed or... I don't know what you call it, like melted on the Decepticon symbol of on uh, Optimus. He's he's a cool character. Um, it's nice to see him getting him in a toy so soon. And uh, overall, he's good. He's got his robot mode fits together really nice. What's nice is there is no kibble here. I mean, this is just absolutely perfect. There is no big backpack. There are no things hanging off the arms. The only thing is the windshield right there, which some people have been, been complaining about, but I mean, it just, it fuses into the arms and the, just the whole layout that it's really unnoticeable unless you start moving them around. So I don't have any problems with anything hanging off of him or anything like that. These two and these two have a little bit of trouble staying in when they're not just sitting on your shelf when you're actually moving them around. But it's an easy fix because all you do is just pop them back. So, yeah, he does come with obviously his staff that can break in two um, because I only have the one piece right Right now, he can hold it very nicely. Um, if you can get it in his hand, he can hold it. Um, there we go. So he can hold it pretty good. Um, I don't remember where where are oh the, there's the mech deck ports if you want to just store them on his leg you can totally do that. But overall he's a good figure. Um he comes he in the movie in the uh, sorry in the show he has like the little blade thing like this um or the saw. It would have been cooler if he got that as an accessory because he actually uses that in the movie in the show. Sorry. Um, but it's still okay. He's a good figure if you really like the character, you can get it. It's kind of hard to like him though because he's not in it too much. When he is, he's never really awesome. He's just okay. So if you do like the character, then awesome. Totally get it. Um, if you're not too into the character, it's not one that's going to blow your mind. You know, it's pretty okay. It's very nice. But uh, just if you like the character, get it. Or if you're completest with the characters, then definitely get it. But if you're not any of those, I'm just, you know, it's not too worth getting just because uh, it's nothing too too special. It's pretty nice, but nothing great. Here he is with Soundwave Deluxe and Megatron Deluxe. I think that he's in pretty good scale. Well, maybe not. Now, he's pretty short. I think that uh, it kind of looks like an okay scale if you have the Deluxe Megatron and um, Soundwave. Uh, but I think he should actually be really shorter, shouldn't he? I think it's a good scale with Soundwave. Um, I do think that. And then here he is with Starscream, the Voyager. I don't think that this is a good um, uh, size really at all. I think that uh, either one of these, he should be smaller or he should be bigger. But yeah, but overall he's a decent size. You can definitely, there's a lot of figures that he's in scale with. Uh, there's a lot of figures that he's not, but there is a lot of figures that he is. So overall it works out. He's a nice uh, figure, not a great character, but a pretty good figure. And overall, pretty nice toy. It's a worthy pickup. So there you go. Thanks for watching.